Um, and you just don't hear the Indian story in these situations. So back to Roots, there's there's a couple scenes in Roots where they they let you in on a couple things. Uh, there's a particular character in Roots by the name of Fiddler. And there's a portion in the movie where Fiddler is now bringing Kuta Kente to the planet for the first time in the movie. If you catch this part. And what was what would hit me like 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 a thousand bricks was why is he explaining to the crowd of people in the movie what an African is? Let me show you something. This here is a Guinea man, an African. They catch him running through the woods in Guinea. My Reynolds brought him right off the ship. Now you keep away from it now, because he a wild African. Oh yeah, he a bobcat for sure. <laughs> Now, some of you ain't never seen no African niggas before. Now, some of you ain't never seen no African niggas before. Now, some of you ain't never seen no African niggas before. So you just listen to old Fiddler now. This here Guinea man don't know English talk. So I'll be the one teaching him what it is he got to know. This is movie Roots. So, but back then, you know, in our dauntage, in our young age, we would have never saw that scene. I've seen the movie a thousand damn times and never seen that scene. It's only because now I'm, I'm, I'm hyper aware of our indigenous ancestry in the Americas that I can even catch that part of the movie. So Fiddler is, is he has Toby on the uh, chain, right? And I tell people in these slave movies, whether it's Django, 12 Years a Slave, uh, Glory, any of these movies, take notice how they only have certain Negroes in chain. Uh, the Negroes in chain were not the slaves. The Negroes in the chain were not the slaves. Those Negroes knew about their freedom. They kept running away. In fact, they kept running away so much, it was a term they called dreptomania. It was a mental condition of wanting to be free. This is this is uh, uh, so-called European uh, psychology, pseudo-psychology. Um, and this is coming on the heels of, of things like eugenics with uh, Eugene Fisher and Johann Blumenbacher and so many others, white pseudoscientists. But um, now, that scene in Roots, the, the, the camera is panning by the so-called Plankers and Negroes. And you see the women with the head wraps on, their turbans, the turbans are turned this way, not the other way. Uh, there's actually a law implemented in, um, in the French quarters in New Orleans where they had to cover their long Indian hair up. Um, and then the little so-called Negro children were known as pickanannies. These are pickanannies, by the way. Fiddler is explaining, this is what he said, verbatim, he said, this here is an African. I know a lot of y'all never seen no African before. I said, wait a minute, what the hell did he just say? Why would he tell these so-called Negroes they ain't never seen an African before? I thought they were African. Hitler and Roots was the same as, um, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, uh, Samuel L. Jackson was in Django. And I'm gonna tell you about him too, because he was actually the plantation, he was the owner of the plantation of Candyland not Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, but Fiddler was telling them, let me teach him what he needs to know. And the crazy part is, in the movie Roots, when they do that pan of that scene, the, the, the little black kids they showing and the ladies they showing, those were not the slaves. Those were tenant farmers. Tenant farmers. We have to understand sharecropping and tenant farming. And what, and what Hollywood would often do, Hollywood was, would give us the story of out of Africa, but only show us slavery during the 1800s. Django, 1800s. Roots, 1800s. Twins of Slave, 1800s. Color Purple was the early 1900s, but still, all you would never see an African, you would never see a slave movie take place in Africa. Other than what? One movie. That's one, only one movie that the African slave trade portrays, and that's Amistad. That's the only slave movie they got about out of Africa. Those other movies that we think are the African diaspora and the uh, Atlantic slave trade, that's actually what was called the second Atlantic slave trade, the domestic slave trade, um, because in 1808, they outlawed international slave trade. So no more so-called Negroes were brought into the Americas. And a question I like to ask my people is, who solely believe in this uh, out of Africa theory via slave trade is which America did they come to with slaves? The whole book's a lie. And if you look at Roots and go get your federal documents in federal court, a white boy by the name of Harry Colander that wrote The African in 1967, 
The court documents show that federal judge made all of them pay him $750,000 and in the records they chastised him saying not only did you lift it out the book, you didn't even change one word. And then a white boy from England named John Rollison, that same judge made them pay him $150,000 because Kuta Kinta came out of his book. Halito Tribe, make sure you stay tuned. Season 2 of the docuseries, Our Story. 1977 Roots. Make sure you follow us on all social media platforms to keep up to date with the progress of the docuseries. Our Story 1977 Roots.